There are about 200 people still in Cumberland County storm shelters and another 200 100 in shelters at UNC. CBS 17's Michael Hyland is live in Chapel Hill tonight, digging deeper to find out when the storm evacuees will get to go home. Michael. Volunteers have brought out these flowers here and they're letting kids and their families make floral arrangements here. It's one of the many activities they're bringing out here to try to help people keep their minds off things. For more than a week, some people have had to wait. They wait to hear what's going on back home and when they'll even get a chance to go there. In times of crisis, some lean on faith. We always talk to one another, we never say nothing to him. On music. They brought me my guitar. That's the only thing I had left out of my apartment. And on each other. Bonnie and Rocky Knight are staying at the shelter at UNC, wondering where they'll go next. We like to laugh and stuff and joke around so we can get everybody else's spirits going up. And it's like, you know, one minute we're, we're, we're up here and then the next it's kind of like hits. It's like, it's like, whoa, wait a minute. They met the governor when he stopped by Sunday. Find homes for everybody. James Franklin came here on a bus with a lot of his neighbors from Jones County near New Bern. They're waiting on the buses to come back once it's safe to return. It is not home. No, nothing beats home. Even once they get there, home is still not where they can stay due to the flooding. But people have been talking, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. But to go, no place to go, what you gonna do? For now, they're somewhere safe while they try to figure out the answer to that question. Make everybody have I don't think there should be able to get down here with yep. The most recent count from the Red Cross, there are about 150 people staying here. And today, representatives from FEMA are here helping people fill out the necessary paperwork to start that long recovery process. Live in Chapel Hill, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.